So the OCG ban list came out recently, and it's only a matter of time before we get the TCG ban list. So here's my prediction of what could happen. Here's what I'm expecting. I think the TCG will go after the consistency cards of Snake Eye because it's still new to a degree. And regardless of what they hit, the new Fiendsmith engine will make up for a card's banning. Some might say why not ban Beatrice, which would be nice, but Konami's not going to hit their potential sales of Infinite Forbidden by banning Beatrice. I would even argue that Infinite Forbidden is their best set of 2024, so banning Beatrice would just hurt them. Remember, they didn't hit VFD before Phantom Rage came out, and people wanted that, but it didn't happen, so what makes you think this would be any different? I'm just giving the cold truth here. Again, it would be nice if Konami did it, but they're a business, and they care about their profits. As for Snake Eyes, I think Original Sinful Spoils is going to get banned, and Ash is going to get limited since these two are the best consistency cards in that deck. Maybe they'll hit another card like Wanted. However, someone pointed out in my Link Karibo video that if OSS is banned, then Wanted can stay at 3, which got me thinking that if we do ban OSS, would Snake Eyes still play Dia Bellstar? Maybe they will, maybe they won't, but I wouldn't be surprised if Wanted got hit. It's a very overtuned card for being a Rota, and that's pretty much all I have for the banning of Snake Eyes. As for my other bans, I think both Sanctifier and King Calamity should go because they do the exact same thing of locking your opponent out of the game, and both of them were featured on live streams during both YCS Indianapolis and German Nationals. Sanctifier even won Nationals, so it makes me wonder, does Konami really want these types of playstyles being shown on live streams? Now, there is a chance that they might not ban these two as Snake Eyes has dominated most of the format, and Sanctifier might get reprinted in the Megatons, though in the past, Konami did hit the Win Barrier statue in Scythe while hitting Tier, so it's possible that these two could get hit as well. My final ban is more wishful thinking, but in all honesty, I have seen people want this one for a while, and that's Dimensional Barrier. I plan to make a full video giving my thoughts on it, but one of my main arguments is that when every single deck in the game plays a Floodgate, then I consider it to be a problem as it suppresses the opponent way too much, and with combo decks in particular, they can kill you the turn after. Again, this might not happen, but who wants this card to stay in the game? I don't think anyone really does. And that's pretty much all I have for bans. As for my limits, I already said Ash and maybe Wanted, but as I'm writing this, maybe we could limit Flamberge, as I believe that card deserves to be banned in the future because it can either be a plus 2 or plus 4 times. After all, it doesn't negate the summon monster's effects, but it's still a new card, so I think limiting it would be okay. As for the rest of the limits and semi-limits, I don't really have that much. I really feel like TCG is going to do more bans on this list, and I really have no idea what else they could limit besides Flamberge. The real problem is just Snake Eyes dominance and a bunch of toxic lock cards in my opinion, so I feel like there's not much to limit in this format. The only thing I have left are my unbans, but you never know when Konami will unban a certain card. Though both Plushfire and Summon Sorcerers will probably come back due to their recent erratas. Also, bring back Zen Mighty Konami, seriously, 12 years of being banned? That is ridiculous. If Zen Mighty doesn't come back on this next ban list, I'm going to make a rant video on how stupid his ban was. As for my last unbanning, this is just my copium, but I kind of just want Starving Venom back at one. Like, when he's limited, he's not going to do much, you can't really FTK, and Pendulum's pretty much beyond dead at this point, especially now with both Baron and Savage banned, so it's like, is he really going to be a problem? And if he does, alright, we can reban him, but... The way I see in the current format, he's not going to do anything, but then again, this is just my wishful thinking. And that's pretty much it for my prediction. I know this video was really short, but I really don't expect too much from this ban list other than cleaning up some toxic cards in the format, while also reducing Snake Eyes' consistency. As at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how they hit Snake Eyes, as the new Fiendsmith engine coming out will make up for it. Unless the TCG is feeling really generous and they actually kill Snake Eyes, but that's unrealistic expectations. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this topic. Have a good day.